Okay, for today's session, we'll be talking about light reactions. And again, this is the other half for photosynthesis. Uh, light reactions being the first half and then the second half being Calvin cycle. Okay, so for light reactions, let's have, let's have a slight review about um, the chlorophyll and its um, properties. Ano? So if you can remember, um, the chlorophyll molecule is a pigment um, in which it has the ability to absorb energy from light particles or photons. So, pag naka-absorb si chlorophyll molecule, si pigment natin ng um, energy from a photon, um, yung electron niya, yung electron niya ay na release natin sa isang excited na state. Okay? And um, when we know something about um, excitation ng isang electron, unstable siya at that point. So it needs to be at a ground state o yung stable na state niya. In order to do so, what it does is either release heat or um, release the energy in the form of photon then or light. So magpo-flores siya. So th this type of um, interaction usually happens in laboratory settings. Okay? So the production of heat and photon usually um, for laboratory setting. Actually, itong photon for laboratory setting usually. Um, yung production niya ng heat o yung pagpasa ng um, energy ng isang chlorophyll molecule to another chlorophyll molecule, okay? Yun yung usually na nangyayari. Okay? So, what usually happens or what happens in a leaf or um, sa sistema natin sa chloroplast is that once a chlorophyll molecule is um, hit by a photon or hit by light, yung energy from the excited electron is passed down to another chlorophyll molecule. Tapos may excite ulit yung electron, mapasa ulit, um, creating this chain or parang sequence of passing down um, energy from chlorophyll molecules. Okay, so let's, let's um, see the structure. <clears throat> okay. So the most um, notable feature in um, this structure, we call this a photosystem. Okay, a photosystem is basically um, the system na nagaharvest ng energy from light. Okay, so ito yung pinaka um, pinaka important na feature ng light reactions. Okay, so kung makikita nyo, <clears throat> our photosystems. They are composed of what we call light harvesting complexes and the reaction center complex. Okay? The light harvesting complexes, ito po yung mga purple. Nakikita niyo yung mga purple na parang beans. So, yung mga yan, they contain um, yung series natin of chlorophyll o yung mga um, chlorophyll pigments natin. So, mostly chlorophyll B, minsan carotenoids, sometimes may chlorophyll A din. Okay? So, sistema siya ng mga chlorophyll, uh, mo chlorophyll molecules or mga pigments. So, once the photon or our light particle hits one chlorophyll molecule, so may excite yung electron ito, okay, it will pass the energy down to another chlorophyll molecule, excite ulit yung electron niya, ipapasa niya ulit, excite, papasa, pasa, 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 until ma-reach nila yung tinatawag nating um, yung special pair of chlorophyll A molecules. Okay, yung um, special pair na to, may pangapangalan yan. So mamaya malalaman din natin. Once this special pair of chlorophyll A molecules receives the energy from um, the antenna pigments o yung mga nasa light harvesting complexes, marerease din yung energy niya. Okay, marerease yung energy niya to the point na makakapagpasa siya ng electron from the from the pair of chlorophyll molecules papunta sa tinatawag nating primary electron acceptor. Okay, so this primary electron acceptor um, from its name will accept that electron or, or will receive that electron. Okay, so siya yung tatanggap ng electron from our chlorophyll A molecule. So, ito, mawawalan siya na electron, magiging unstable siya, pero may isang event ulit na mangyayari in order to suffice that uh, missing electron. Okay? So again, um, a photosystem is composed of light harvesting complexes and reaction center complex. 
sa light harvesting complexes, nandito yung system natin ng mga chlorophyll molecules, chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, mostly chlorophyll B, and minsan carotenoids. Okay? The reaction center complex is doon mahanap yung <clears throat> primary electron acceptor as well as yung special pair of chlorophyll A molecules natin. Okay? So this um, photosystem exists sa thylakoid. Okay? Thylakoid. So here, yan yung thylakoid membrane. Do you remember what the thylakoid is? Do you guys remember what the thylakoid is? Ayan siya o. Oh. Nandito siya. Yung pancake. Okay? Yung pancake dun sa chloroplast. Isang unit doon is called a thylakoid. Okay. Okay. So, um, ito yung pinaka-highlight ng lecture natin sa light reactions, which is yung flow ng electron or ng energy in um, light reactions itself. Sa... Um, there are actually two, but I think sa module nyo diniscuss yung isa lang, yung linear electron flow. But here, there are actually two, um, two ways to which um, electron flows in um, our photosystems or in light reactions. Okay, the first is linear electron flow and the second one is cyclic flow. Okay, so linear electron flow, ito yung pinaka... Um, common and ito yung pinaka ano pinaka sikat din okay so like i said a while ago um the photosystem diba naka-embed siya dun sa thylakoid or dun sila nakakabet dun sila nahanap okay and sa most ng photosynthetic organisms merong dalawang photosystem photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 okay may mga lower organisms like bacteria and other um, other prokaryotic na photosynthetic or autotrophic no organisms. Photosystem 1 yung meron sila. So parang pwede nating makonsider na mas primitive tong um, photosystem 1. Okay? As compared kay photosystem 2. But most ng um, most ng land plants ata yan, both naman sila meron. Photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. Okay. So, photosystem 2, uh, medyo weird to, huwag kayo malilito, photosystem 2 or PS2, oh, PS2 na lang tawag natin, wow, mas madali din tandaan, PS2, um, siya yung nauuna sa sequence ng linear electron flow. Kaya lang siya tinawag na PS2 kasi pangalawa siyang nahanap. Ang unang nahanap kasi is photosystem 1. Okay, so this is the uh, second found second found siya but um, it is the first sa sequence okay so etong photo system 1 this is the first one found but um, second talaga siya sa sequence Okay. So photosystem 2 um ganun din na, um, yung principle nung diniskus ko kanina ganun din yung nangyari sa kanya. So first is yung light uh, mag mag or yung photon natin i-hit niya yung isang chlorophyll uh, yeah, chlorophyll B molecule or pigment natin sa light harvesting complex. Again, this violet here is the light harvesting complex while yung itong light Lighter violet is the reaction center complex or reaction center. Okay? So, dito, um, the photon would hit the chlorophyll molecule, pasa yung energy to another, pasa, 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 <clears throat> and until it reaches yung special pair of chlorophyll A molecules natin sa reaction center complex. Sa photosystem 2, ang tawag nun sa special pair ay P680. P680. Um, P680. <clears throat> um, 680 because sabi, yung, yung, um, yung wavelength ng light na pinaka na-absorb niya is 680 nanometers. Okay? So yan, P680 yung pangalan ng special pair sa photosystem 2. Okay? 
So once again, once na receive na ni um, P680 yung uh, energy from the antenna pigments or from the um, chlorophyll molecules sa ating light harvesting complexes. Si P680 may excite siya to the point na madodonate niya yung electron niya sa primary electron acceptor natin. Okay, so madodonate niya na si actual electron niya sa primary electron acceptor natin. Okay, and like I said, si P680 this time naman, mawawalan siya ngayon ng mawawalan siya ngayon ng electron. Okay, and magiging sobrang unstable siya. So magiging sobrang unstable siya, it needs an electron. So ang, ang mangyayari is that water na inabsorb ng plant, yung water na inabsorb ng plant, siya ay malalays or mahahati siya sa dito sa photosystem 2. I, 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 hahati siya, di ba yung dun sa module nyo, this is described as, I think it, this is described as photolysis. So it will be, um, it will be lysed into two yung uh, oxygen na part and then hydrogen na part o yung hydrogen ions. So yung yung electron doon in the form of hydrogen ions, yun yung gagamitin ni P680 para siya ay magstabilize ulit. Okay? And P680 is known as the strongest um, oxidizing agent. Okay? Sa nature, it is um, it is nature's strongest um, strongest oxidizing agent. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun pag oxidizing agent siya? What does that mean? If oxidizing agent siya? Ano yun, guys? If it, it, if it says that it's the strongest oxidizing agent. What's an oxidizing agent? Okay, very good. So, it will accept the electron. So if it's the strongest, it means that it readily accepts or it easily accepts electron from any sources. Okay, so in this case, the electron would come from the hydrogen um, part of the water. Okay, so meron pa tayo na produce na other half, which is yung oxygen. Okay, but sa isang water molecule kasi, Isa lang yung oxygen, di ba? Isa lang yung component niya na oxygen. One atom of oxygen. Kaya nakalagay dito one half. But um, if, if you remember from our discussion in the past, um, kapag free yung isang oxygen atom, anong mangyayari sa kanya? Siya ay tinatawag na... Ano sa kanya? Anong tawag sa kanya? Pag free siya, na siya lang mag-isa. Destructive to eh. Destructive. It is called a, what do you call that? Um, two words, letter F and then R. Um, sa mga nagsiskin care, I think they're also familiar with this. Um, yung coffee, madami siyang pang laban sa ganto, sa FR. Those are very good. Free radicals, very good. They are called free radicals. Kapag ang oxygen nag-exist lang siya as, as it is na isang atom lang, free radical siya. Ibig sabihin, dahil nga sobrang unstable niya, kailangan niya ng kapartner, mag-tatry mag, siyang mag-bond with a lot of different things. And sa cellular na setting, yung lone na oxygen na atom, talagang kaya niyang mag-react or mag-bond with a lot of other biological molecules like proteins, like carbohydrates, fats, yung mga phospholipids nyo, or whatever. So madami siyang pwedeng i-react, makakasira siya ng madaming bagay. That is why um, usually two molecules ng water yung nakikleave para yung one half ng oxygen na napoproduce doon. May kapartner kagad siya na isa pa. So readily nababond yung dalawang oxygen atoms para maging stable na O2. And yung stable na O2, ito yung nire-release ng plant sa air and yun yung nakukuha natin. Okay, so in order to stabilize, kailangan may readily available na isa pang um, oxygen atom para mag-O2 kagal siya, mag-combine kagal siya into O2. Okay? So, balik tayo. Once the 
Okay, once na na-supply na natin ulit yung electron kb 680 stable na ulit siya, meaning readily na ulit siya pwede, pwede na ulit siyang mag-accept ng energy from um, other chlorophyll molecules or from molecules uh, from pigment molecules in the light harvesting complexes. Okay, so pwede na ulit siyang mag-accept and repeat the process. Okay, once na na-receive na ni primary electron acceptor yung electron, this will be passed down to an electron transport chain. Okay? This electron transport chain, similar siya sa cell respiration in the sense that, um, yun nga, nagpapasa-pasa ng electron from one protein complex to the other. Okay? Kung sa cell respiration, I think there are four um, protein complexes. Dito sa light reactions, there are only three um, protein complexes involved in our electron transport chain. Okay, PQ is short for plastoquinone. Plastoquinone. So this is the first protein complex na mag accept ng um, ating, uh, ating electron from the primary electron acceptor of photosystem 2. Okay, the next is the cytochrome complex. Di ko na isulat. Cytochrome complex, yan na yung pangalawang protein complex natin. And lastly is the PC or plastocyanin. Okay, so this, uh, these three protein complexes, sila yung magpapas ng electron from um, yun nga, one protein complex to the other. And if you can remember... Yung pagpasa-pasa ng electron sa cell respiration, di ba? Nakakapag-create siya ng tinatawag nating proton motive for... Na-discuss ko ba yun? Um, di ko na maalala ko na-discuss ko yun. Uh, you can refer to other videos, but what happens kasi when electron is passed down in protein complexes, may pinapump na... Um, usually, hydrogen ion yon, May pinapump na hydrogen ion sa isang membrane space. Okay? Sa, sa cell respiration, sa mitochondria siya, yung mitochondrial space o yung, I think it's called the transmembrane space, dito sa, ano, dito sa thylakoid, meron din siyang ganun. May, may space din between the inner and outer thylakoid membrane. So, dun din napapump yung hydrogen ions. And the continuous pumping of ions, positive protons or ions dun sa space, nakakapag-create ng gradient force. Yung tinatawag na proton motive force. So yung um, proton motive force, yun yung isa sa mga um, driving forces ng ATP production. That's why sa ETC ng light reactions or sa electron transport chain ng light reactions, nakakapag-produce ka din ng ATP. Okay, so at this part, between photosystem 2 and photosystem 1, yung, yung process ng linear electron flow, nakakapag-produce tayo ng ATP. Okay? So, so far, what, what happened is nakapag-produce tayo ng O2, nakapag-produce, ay, ay yung water na split natin siya producing O2, at the same time, nag-produce na din tayo ng ATP. Okay? So, dalawa na yung napaproduce natin, oxygen and ATP. Okay? So, once na mapasa-pasa na si electron, okay, mapasa-pasa si electron to um, photosystem 1, Okay, usually that electron would um, pass down to P700. Okay, so anong nangyayari dito? Bakit meron ulit light dito? Okay, what happens kasi is habang si photosystem 2 ay nakareceive ng light, si photosystem 1 din ay actually makakareceive din siya ng light. Okay, ganun din yung sistema niya. Ma-excite yung chlorophyll molecules sa light harvesting complexes niya, mapapasa-pasa-pasa until mapunta dun sa special pair of chlorophyll A molecules ng photosystem 1. And dun naman, ang tawag sa kanya is P700. Okay, P700. Kasi 700 nanometers yung, um, yung, ano, yung wavelength na efficiently na-absorb niya. So si P700... Ganun din, madodonate niya din yung electron niya to primary electron acceptor. Okay? And this primary electron acceptor would again pass this um, electron to um, proteins in an electron transport chain. Okay? 
Um, this FD here is called feredoxin. Fere Doxin. I'm not sure with the spelling, so pa-check na lang. Or baka mali ako ng term. Pero I think it's peridoxin. Um, pero dito sa electron transport chain na to, if you notice, wala ng production ng ATP. Wala ng production ng ATP dito sa part na to. Okay? Walang production of ATP. So dito sa um, photosystem 1, na-donate si electron kay primary, uh, na-excite si P700 from a photon o yung energy na nanggaling sa mga um, chlorophyll molecules sa kanyang light harvesting complex, ipapasa niya yung electron to its primary electron acceptor here. The primary electron acceptor would um, pass the electron to ferredoxin, a part of the electron transport chain dito sa PS1. And the electron would be used to, uh, ayan na, to supply NADP. Okay, NADP. So nakita nyo may plus siya. Magre-receive siya ngayon ng electron kasi NADP is um NADPH this one is we call here is an electron carrier. So yung kinikarry niyang electron is in the form of the hydrogen ion. Okay? NADP reductase basically is the enzyme that catalyzes the um catalyzes yung pag-combine ng NADP and ng hydrogen ion. Okay, so reductase from it from the name itself, um, it catalyzes the reduction of NADP plus. Okay, um, ano ibig sabihin pag nare reduce siya sa NADP plus? What does it mean if it's reduced? So if NADP plus is reduced, meaning it does it donate or does it accept? If it is reduced, NADP plus is reduced. Meaning, guys, does it accept or does it donate? Nako, nakalimutan na nila. Pinaka isa yun sa pinaka-importante ah, na, na concept sa bio, which is oxidation and reduction. What would happen to an ADP plus if it is reduced? It? No. If it, it is reduced, yan. It accepts. Very good. It accepts or it gains electrons. Remember, kaya term ay reduced. Kaya nagamit lang yung term na reduced. Kasi, ano siya, mas nagiging um, negative yung charge niya dahil electron yung inaccept niya. Okay? Dahil electron yung inaccept niya, mas nagiging negative. Kaya yung term na reduction is... Um, yun yung nagamit na term kasi mas nagiging negative yung charge niya. It is reduced. Pero technically, it gained something which is the electron. So medyo yun nga, yun yung confusing na side nun but you have to um, be familiar with that part. Okay, so it will be reduced. So NADP plus reductase, the enzyme catalyzes the reduction of NADP plus turning it into NADPH which is our primary, ano, uh, sorry, which is an electron carrier. Okay? So, balikan natin sa glepa. Sir, ano pong nangyari doon sa electron na pinasa ni plastocyanin papunta kay P700? So, if you remember, si P700 na-excite siya gamit yung photon from, it, from its own light harvesting complexes. Diba? Sarili niyang light harvesting complex na-excite siya, nagpasa ng electron. Meaning, si P700 is P, pag nagpasa to ng electron si P700 is it stable or unstable will it become stable or unstable si P700 is it going to be stable once it passes its electron to the primary electron acceptor very good it will become unstable so once P700 becomes unstable Okay, ano yung magsusupply ng electron sa kanya? Kung dito nag-supply is water, ano pong magsusupply ng electron kay P700? What do you guys think? Tignan nyo yung figure. Anong magsusupply ng electron for P700? Very good. Si plastocyanin, kasi siya ngayon na, na, magpapasa ng electron from, um, from yung nakuha niya sa photosystem 2 ipapasa niya yun directly to P700. So, stable na ulit si P700. 
Okay? So basically, yung electro na iniintay ni P700, manggagaling yan sa photosystem 2. Okay? Kasi yung pinapasa niyang electron, sa kanya mismo galing yon And um, yung energy, galing yon sa sarili niyang pagka-excite sa photon or sa sarili niyang excitation from a light particle. Okay? So basically, that's medyo magulo, but I hope you followed. So what would be the products? What would be the products? What are the end products for uh, linear electron flow or for light reactions in general? What are the products? Simula natin dito. For photosystem 2, ano yung product na na-form dito? What product is formed here? Photosystem 2 part? Very good. Oxygen, O2. How about for the ETC part? Oh, this is pretty easy. For the ETC part, very good. ATP. Okay, next. How about for photosystem 1? What is the product for photosystem 1? Very good. NADPH. Okay. Very good po. Very good. Okay, so we have three products for um, light reactions for the linear electron flow. Okay? Now, this NADPH here, this is the most important um, aspect of light reactions. Actually, pati ATP ata. A yeah, ATP and NADPH kasi these um, two things will be used for the Calvin cycle later on. So, dahil... Sa Calvin cycle, it involves building glucose or it involves the, um, if it is a building, uh, if it is a building process or yung paggawa or pag-create ng mas complex na molecule or na compound, is it catabolic or is it anabolic? Yung pag-build, yung pag-produce ng glucose natin. Very good. It is anabolic. Wow, naalala pa nila. Very good. So, it is anabolic. Okay. So, gana, ito lang to. It's a simplified version. Pero this time around, um, pinapakita lang yung um, flow ng electron. Okay. So, from photosystem to um, primary electron acceptor, electron transport chain, tapos mapupunta sa photosystem 1. Okay. Photosystem 1 to light uh, to primary electron acceptor and then to NADPH. Okay, so ganun lang. Simplified version lang siya. Okay, so linear that is for linear electric flow. Okay, linear tama ba sabi ko? Linear electron flow. Sorry. <laughs> linear electron flow. Okay? Um, next we have cyclic flow. This is um, yung other type ng electron flow sa um, light reactions, but it is rather um, mas simple to as, com as compared to the linear electron flow. And alam ko din, mas primitive yung um, cyclic flow. Kaya nga, ang involved lang sa cyclic flow, if you notice, is just photosystem 1. Okay? Sometimes daw kasi, um, what happens is that um, yung electron na nakukuha ng primary um, acceptor, primary electron acceptor, is pagpasa niya dun sa ferrodoxine, sometimes it nasa-shunt siya or nasa-stop siya and then ibinabalik papunta dun sa cytochrome complex ng ETC. Okay? Binabalik siya dun sa cytochrome complex ng ETC. Once na mabalik siya dun sa cytochrome complex ng ETC, makakapag-produce lang siya ng ATP. Tapos, uulit lang yung flow. So, cytochrome complex to plastocyanin to P700. Okay? Uh, sorry. P700. Then, P700 gets, uh, it, it passes down its electron to primary electron acceptor again, and then to ferredoxine, and then ferredoxine passes it to cytochrome complex. So, if you notice, the cyclic flow only produces ATP. And if I'm not mistaken, um, kung kailangan ng plant ng madaming ATP or kailangan niya mag-supply ng mas madaming ATP, um, it will undergo cyclic flow. And I think some photosystem 1, dun sa pinaka-membrane ng thylakoid, some photosystem 1s, 
some photosystems, yung mga photosystem 1, most of them would be undergoing just the cyclic flow. So some of them produce, magpapump lang na magpapump ng ATP. Okay? So that is for the cyclic flow. Basically, what happens again, once P700 passes its electron to the primary electron acceptor, na siya shunt, okay, ipapasa muna niya kay ferredoxin and then na siya shunt siya yung process dito sa NADP um, reductase. So once that happens, ferredoxin would pass the electron to the cytochrome complex, produce ATP, pass it to plastocyanin, and then pass it again to P700. Okay, and then repeat the process. Kaya siya tinawag na cyclic flow kasi cyclic yung nature ng electron flow. Okay? Okay, are there any questions? Let me just stop my recording.